Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve. Make sure to subscribe for more of that. Today we're talking about Nodes 101 and specifically the Text Plus node. Bum, bum, bum. So let's do it. If you didn't see what I just did, let's do it in slow motion. Over here in the toolbar on the third icon, I'm gonna grab Text Plus. And I'll drag it over here into the nodes. Boom. <laughs> it's an early morning, guys. I'm sorry. Here's our text plus. So what the heck does it do? Let's hit number two on the keyboard and find out. Text plus is just a fancy way to make some text inside of Fusion. They also have a text plus available for the edit page. If you go to effects library and go to titles and go to text plus. And this is actually the same thing from Fusion. It's just available in the edit page if you just want to add text, okay? So with our text plus node selected over in the inspector, we can control what happens. So under style text, let's say some text. I'll hit two on the keyboard to bring that up. And now we can go through and style our text just like you would normally think you'd be able to. I'm not gonna take you through all of this because it's literally the same as like Microsoft Word and stuff, all of the paragraph controls and stuff like that. One thing that's interesting is the write on ability. So you can actually keyframe either of these sliders to kind of type it on like that. So a nice little typewriter effect. That's cool, right? Freaking awesome cool. So that's kind of the basic first tab. The next tab is the layout tab. So this kind of just, this is just kind of where the text shows up, where the center is, all of that stuff it has more controls for size, rotation. You can even rotate this on the X axis like this. Ooh, and flipsy bunny. You know what I'm saying? You can also add a background and this is really cool. So I'll just pick like a bluish thing and you can add a background color if you don't want to add a background node things like that. But I'm gonna just take that down to black, take the alpha out. Next tab is the transform. This one's a little bit more useful actually. This layout tab, I feel like might've been around like beforehand or something. It There's kind of a, a few kind of like duplicate controls and stuff that can be a little bit confusing, but usually what you do in the layout tab is mess with center. In the transform tab, you can transform all the different characters with spacing. You can even decide to like transform different words and space those out. You have a lot of control over things. Uh, same with rotation. And you can do kind of the same thing, but when you adjust the pivot, you can have this like swing down, swing up, that kind of thing. You, you can even do fancy things like shear your text. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. The one that's really cool is the shading tab. So by default, this white text, this is shading element one, and there's multiple different elements that you can add to your text plus. And they're kind of set up by default, but really you can make any of them anything. So let's go to like shading element two. This is just named red outline. That's because it's just preset for that. If I click enabled, it will add a red outline to my text, right? But the cool thing is that you can actually adjust this and maybe I want it to be a dark blue outline and maybe I want it to be a little thicker, right? You can do a lot of different stylization of your text without having to duplicate your node or do anything fancy in the nodes. You can just control it here in the inspector. And what I use a lot is actually this under appearance where it says border fill, because that actually makes these little panels behind text, which I just love. And you can adjust these in such a way where you can extend the horizontal, you can even round the edges a little bit. And if you scroll down to position, you can offset the Y, and you can make your text have an automatic little, little background box thing that will actually size and adjust with whatever text you put in. Pretty cool, right? So that's what I use it for. Definitely open up the shading elements and play with all of that because man, it's, it's deep. You can get some really cool effects with that. The next two tabs are pretty much in every other node. So those are normal. So there you go. There's some basics of the text plus node. I hope you enjoyed this and learned a lot. I enjoyed this and learned a lot. If you want to learn more, I have a playlist of these nodes 101 tutorials right there. Hey, check it out. Check it out. I don't have my camera on today, but I still have coffee. Look.